or has been and we'll pay you top value. Buy here or sell here at the Team Automotive Group. That would be concerning and yeah. maybe set a precedent moving forward. If you have plans to be outside, you might hit a couple of these little passing showers. A drug bust and a few arrests made. Look at what they hauled in here. Happy Monday. Good morning to you and to you. To you and to you and, and to, to you. All the mamas. Oh, you know what? It was what a good it was. It was a good Mother's Day. Hopefully yeah. it was a great Mother's Day out there for you and all, uh, everybody. Uh, celebrate all the moms out there. I can't say thanks enough. And uh, I'm fortunate enough to have my folks, for instance, like living Sweet. here and so being able to do that. And yeah. of course, uh, my wife, mother of our three kids, just a just a, a good a, a solid day. Um, it was warm. Yes. It was warm. And from the looks of that. It, it's going to be, yeah, I know. It's, it's going to be warm again today. We're, it's that time. <laughs> yes, so we know it down in South Louisiana. We sweat, we look forward to the sun, and we, of course, anticipate rain. Right. Today's another day where it's looking much like that. How about we check in with Dr. Steve Caprata for a better look at the timing of that rain and our week ahead forecast. Hey, Steve, good morning. Good morning, guys. You know, we're about midway through May. Feels like we're midway through summer with our weather. Live look outside this morning. Bright sunshine at this hour. Sky Nine camera brought to you by Our Lady of the Lake. That sunshine is going to heat things up though quickly. 92 for a high, a 50% chance of showers and storms. So still hot and humid today, but overall looking at better rain chances than what we've seen the last couple of days. Right now, low 70s in most areas. Gonzalez, Hammond, 71. Macomb starting out at 70 degrees. So a little bit of fog this morning, uh, mostly off to our west, and that's where it is right now on the west side of the Chafly Basin. Lafayette now down to a half half mile visibility up loose us at a mile and a half, but locally most of us doing OK. Here's a little more detailed look at today's forecast. Upper 80s by noon, mainly dry through the morning. Again, a high of 92 with the rain chances around 50%. The other thing to keep in mind today, that would be the heat index. What it's going to feel like when you combine the temperature and humidity heat index getting up around 100 this afternoon. We saw that at times this weekend, so just a reminder to be careful if you're going to be outside for any length of time. All right, let's give you a look at the rain timing for today. So through the morning should be mainly dry. This is the graph model at noon, starting to show isolated showers and storms and kind of has these working east to west. So this is three o'clock scattered storms on the board, and then those continue westward so that by early evening, seven o'clock, things are starting to settle down. Once the sun goes down, we should go completely dry. We've had a dome, a high pressure overhead the last several days. It's still Still there. That's why it's still going to be hot today, but it's starting to weaken and it's weakening just enough to allow some storms both today and tomorrow. We'll get a cold front in here, a weak one on Wednesday, and that'll get a little added boost from a disturbance that's currently in Mexico. Bottom line is we're seeing some rain chances return. 50% on those chances today and tomorrow, up to 60% Wednesday as the front gets close. And with that, not quite as hot on Wednesday, a high of 87. Briefly, a little bit drier Thursday, Friday, and that looks like another weak cold front on Saturday, giving us a little bump up in rain chances to 40%, and then Sunday into early Early next week, back to a somewhat drier pattern. Staying warm, though. Highs in the upper 80s to near 90 degrees. 706 now with a check on your Monday morning commute. Here's Johnny. Yes, uh, we're going to go out toward the uh, Denham Springs area. We're starting to see a little traffic right here. It's approaching Millerville. That's O'Neill Lane to Millerville. That's the Millerville Road overpass right here. Out to our map. We can certainly see that this morning. Little Airline Highway northbound traffic between uh, Florida Boulevard and Greenville Springs Road. Greenville Springs Road itself right here at uh, Wooddale and Lobdale. Also a little uh, busy this morning. Then over to Denham Springs. We start you right here at the Jubin Crossing area where it's slow. Then it really gets slow over the range overpass right here as you make your way to or I beg your pardon, the uh, Amy River Bridge overpass. Make your way toward O'Neill, thins out a little bit. Then we slow down again around Sherwood. And then when you get to the 1012 merge, we have a little bit of traffic right here at the merge. That's our interactive um, 3D map right here. We'll show you that in live cameras. That's our camera shot from DOT right at that construction area at the merge. Bridge traffic doing okay for the time being this morning at 707. Both ferry boats are operating in Iberville Parish. Second one until a little after nine. So you have both boats in very minimal weights at the ferry landings. Seven minutes after and Matt and Liz kind of give you an update, a highlight of the top stories that we covered this morning. If you missed nine news this morning, they're in Studio B this morning with that update. Guys. Johnny, thanks. Speaking of yeah. updates, we've got a 
kind of more of the same for you today. Yeah, yeah this is this is that story that kind of took over the back end of last week, yeah. uh, understandably so. Uh, shooting involving a Denham Springs police officer. We've talked a lot about Corporal Sean Kelly. Now, going forward, he's still in critical condition, but going forward, there are ways that we can continue to help. I tell you, all weekend long, since really Friday, we've been seeing this outpouring of yeah, the community, truly. a fellow law enforcement officers coming out to donate blood in honor of uh, Corporal Sean Kelly here. And so today, another blood drive. Correct. This one happening in Livingston? Yeah, this, so the, um, in, over in Livingston Parish, town of Livingston, yeah. the courthouse, in fact. And so they're going to run it. It's a number of hours. Look at the time, 9 a.m. until 4 p.m. So seven good hours, seven good chunk hours right there for you to make your way over there. Obviously, it says bring your photo ID. That, that, that goes without saying. Also goes without saying when you're giving blood, they tell you, you know, eat a little something before. Yes. And if you can, more than a little something. But they're hopeful that they can they can make their way out there. I tell you, that, that, that first blood drive uh, that they did for him, it was yeah. actually over at Our Lady of the Lake, where he still is right now. You had a good number of people show up. This, this pulls a lot of people in. Yeah. You see not only fellow law enforcement officers coming out for their fellow brothers and sisters in blue showing up for him, they're actually coming out in droves for the community members too. In fact, I believe over 160 donations just on Friday yeah, at the Blood incredible. Donor Center. Yeah. So now the OLOL Blood Donor Bus mobile bus is coming mm -hmm. out from Livingston Courthouse to make it easier for people who still want to donate, who want to do something here, but who may not be able to make it to Baton Rouge Correct. during lunch break Correct. or before or after work. Trying to come to, try, trying to get to the places where the people are right now. So yeah. there you see it, nine to four today, Livingston Parish Courthouse. Make it on out there, see if you can't help out a little bit. Um, this was horrible. Yes. It, it still is horrible. Uh, a young girl, 12 years old, shot and killed in the Baton Rouge area over the weekend. What you're seeing right here are two people arrested in connection to all that. This awful scene leading to the death of 12 year old, 12, 12 year old, old. Cedrica Lee. Let's show you some video of the, the scene here that our crews captured from, from over the weekend. But when you talk about an incident like this, right. this week classmates, as they wrap up the end of the school year, exactly, right. they're gonna have one less seat that's, that's empty in that classroom yeah. today. So right now we just know that these Baton Rouge Sheriff's Office, they've released the names of two suspects right. connected to the death of Cedrica Lee. Uh, 26 year old Esther Williams charged with one count of first degree murder and three counts of attempted first degree murder. That second person you saw, Patrick Johnson is 36. He's charged with one count of accessory after yeah, the fact accessories. and three counts of accessory after the tap to first degree murder. Now, yeah, they're saying that, uh, law enforcement is saying that uh, Esther uh, ex uh, came out of a house, fired into a vehicle yeah. that had those four people inside, including a 12 year old uh, Cedrica. She ended up being hit and was and was killed. So um, we also learned that she goes to uh, Park Forest Elementary School, right? And they're gonna have counselors on hand today. Go figure, EBR making sure that that's gonna be available for yeah. students, for staff, because as you mentioned, um, you know they're thinking about you know getting ready to end the school year and and then this happens they've, they've lost a friend not a, not, not a classmate a friend a friend is lost so that's going on tough to stomach yeah. we're going to keep our eyes on this investigation and let you know how that develops all right so there's a lot there's a lot more things going on today we want to let you know about so let's go ahead and run through them over the next couple minutes southern university day at the state capitol a chance to show off the jags i tell you what that columbia blue and gold yeah. showing up at the steps of the capitol today and the focus of su day at the capitol is to show what all of the campuses are accomplishing mm -hmm. and i tell you what there's some standout students graduating Truly. this year yeah. a lot of seeds being planted to see where will they go next so they're really trying to boast that today right Right there, steps at the Kent State Capitol, enjoying it over there. Entrepreneurs invited, speaking of Southern, Southern University Ag Center, the 18th Annual Business Conference. So it's SU Ag Center and the Small Business Association. Yes. But it's being held over at LaBerge. So heads up, if yeah. you are a small business owner, particularly a minority business owner, a woman business owner, or a veteran-owned yeah, business, hey, this is key for you. Yes. There are resources available to there help are. grow your business. These are free resources. Free, right? So it is today through Thursday. Check the story for a bit more information. Uh, you don't need any oh. more information here. We've yeah. talked a lot about it. The date has arrived. Tax deadline today. Just know if you have been, well, holding things off, today is the absolute finite deadline where you got to turn it in. Mm -hmm. If you somehow qualify for some kind of extension right. here, just know any taxes that you owe to the state will still be due today. Absolutely. This is for Louisiana state taxes. Obviously, the federal returns have already been returned, correct? Ah. Correct. Correct? So all that's going on. Deadline today. Also <gasps> deadline today as well. Yeah. Last chance to get some uh, some free 
furry family members. Yes, right? yes. If, whether it's a guinea pig, a kitten, what? or a doll, big responsibilities here in yeah, any of the above yeah. adoptions. Oh. Today's the last day to take advantage of the Empty the Shelters campaign. So if you're thinking, well, summertime might be a good dog, mm -hmm. time for the whole family to get involved in training, making sure that dog feels loved, making sure that All hamster feels like they're a part of the All family. Of big decision, but today's the last day to make sure you can get that free adoption. Information right there. I don't know about you, Liz, but when I got when I got to print out a lot of stuff uh, at, at the house, I just put it off and I come here to work and I steal all the materials here that I need. I'm with you on no, that. No, is that ding, not a ding, thing? Ding. <laughs> well, chances are it's probably because you're out you're of ink. You think, you think the boss is listening? No. We're mm. about to find out in about an hour. Oh, uh. my God. Yeah, he'll be walking and going, you owe me a lot of money. Right. Dion Guillory, though, Consumer Reports, talking about printers and specifically the kind of ink that's used and how to save money. Yeah, especially if you have those, you know, regular home printers. Right. Chances are the ink cartridges are more expensive than the printers themselves. Yeah. So, Dion talks about some alternative options so you don't have to keep replacing those cartridges as often right. and keep stealing the work printer. That doesn't happen. Well. It happens across America. It happens everywhere. <laughs> this happened everywhere, hopefully. Great day for mothers across the across the country. Yeah. Uh, mother's Day, what a, what a great day to celebrate the moms in our lives. I tell you, and the weather was mighty fine for it here. I'll be at home. was warm. But I tell you what, the sun was shining for moms here yeah. in the South Louisiana. And Steve, you, you drummed up a great forecast for it. Today is much of the same, but hoping that y'all had a great Mother's Day too, you and Johnny. Was the uh, pool water warm? It, it was, yeah. It, it felt really, it was perfect. Especially, you sit out there a little bit, get the sweat going, yeah, get in the pool. It was a big crowd out there yesterday, uh -huh. too, where we went. Um, so, yeah, the heat, the summer heat, it looks like it's here to stay for a while. Today, tomorrow, back into the low 90s. The change, though, from what we saw yesterday, some better rain chances ahead. On the order of 50% today and tomorrow, 60% Wednesday. So, mm. indeed, it's like that summer-like pattern, heating it up. And then we're really going to get this storm starting to bubble, it looks like, the next few days. Might want to uh, wear your baseball cap with the bill to the front. <laughs> you know, you notice that. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Lesson learned. There's a little bit of evidence of what I was doing <laughs> yesterday. Well, he did graduate, oh, he did graduate from Barry Martin after all, but oh well. Hey, Johnny, uh, what comes first? Are you going to mow or run through the neighbor's sprinklers? Which comes first? Uh, Are sprinklers. You gonna, the sprinklers. Sprinklers Always. first and then mow? <laughs> you got to cool off before you start the work. You're so bad. I You're so it. bad. Oh, my goodness. All right. Careful with the heat out there. We're going to see you again in about 10 minutes over on the Mothership WAFB.